Hi, welcome to The Digital Story. My name is Stephanie Sheets. Today I'm going to show you a fast and easy way to create your own gift bag. All you'll need is a printout of your favorite picture, adhesive, and an object to wrap the paper around. Sound like fun? Let's get started. When you print out your picture, you'll want to do it so it's on a horizontal format. The focal point will be in the center, however. Another option is if you have an image that has a beautiful all-over design, you can print it all the way out to the edges of the paper. You want to make sure when you print it on your paper that it's a thin weight paper because we're going to be doing a lot of folding. Place your paper face down and you'll want to select an object that you can wrap around easily. A simple solution is a stack of books easily bound together with some rubber band. Another way to create the block is to attach a bunch of scrap foam cord pieces together to make it nice and firm. You want to position the block a little bit off the edge of your paper and then start wrapping around it like if you were wrapping a present. However, when you wrap this, you don't want to do it so tightly that you won't be able to remove the object later on. You want to use a double-sided adhesive along the edge and then bring the papers over until they attach. I don't want to use regular tape because I don't want it exposed here. For the bottom, push in the sides and much like wrapping a present, you're going to collapse it down until it's nice and flat. Now because this part won't be seen, it is okay to use some regular tape. And we just want to attach that down so it's nice and secure. And there you have the start of your bag. After you have everything adhered down, you want to go back and press down to really define those edges. This will give you a nice crisp look. Now that the bag is formed, we're able to remove the object from the inside. And I like to take it one step further and actually press it down a little bit. Gives it even more an appearance of an authentic bag. Now that we have the bag formed, now's the time you're going to take your gift, put it inside. And when you close it off, you can do something as simple as folding it toward the back and taking a colorful paper clip and putting it on top. Or, if you want, you can punch a couple holes and thread a ribbon through to give you a beautiful effect that way. Now that you've learned how to create the bag, an alternative way of finishing it off is to actually attach little handles toward the top. This effect I call my Nordstrom bag. Well, I hope you had a fun time learning some creative things to do with your pictures. I'm Stephanie Sheets with The Digital Story.